the idea I pitched, and it's still kind of up in the air, but I'm backing away from it, was to do a combination club and um, in the services. If you could create um, an event space where you can have things happening all the time and combine it with a resource space where people, um, for a fee that's not ridiculous to them, you can come in and use the resources to help generate their art or their flyers or their events. And you create all this uh, service in one place and you, you get more money coming in than it's going out. And then you can do the streaming and stuff. They were trying to do that with uh, the Ice House. You remember that? Mm -hmm. well, there's, but that fell through because um, the city went after my old landlord who owned that place. Oh, really? Charlie Willard. Yeah. For what reason? Um, was it because Mayor Cleaver hated him and um, labeled him the slum, number one slumlord of Kansas City. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's pretty big so, word. There's there's some, there, are, there are a lot of buildings right now. There are a few on Truman. I mean, there, um, it, you know, like there's some places. Well, even your, right your, right your idea of a school. And I was well, thinking, okay, that's, I was I was thinking uh, that's the simple approach to that is to figure out Approach the school district and ask them how much they want to rent the school. Huh. You know, and it doesn't have to be a very big well, school. Well, they'll do elementary they they school. They need, well, it gets really complicated. There's some things. They need an urban redevelopment corporation. Yeah. Or they need a for-profit company with a with a. I mean, a, this is what I ran into. Well, what's funny is with a, with. with right combination of things and people they give you the school for free. Yeah, a dollar. Here you go. It has to be the right combination. But, you know, the, the, the shameful thing of it is, is that they leave these buildings sit empty and what happened this week is going to happen to the point where nobody will even want to approach the school district anymore and it will become light, is that the copper thieves are moving in and they caught two copper thieves and recently closed down school and they had already taken parts of the school apart. Mm -hmm. Sure. You know. Uh, that's been common in many areas. Well, I realize that you fascinated Jeff so much that he didn't go get a, lot, a piece of wood. Well, I mean, it's even... <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's very destructive that they won't... I mean, even if you uh, gave the school over to a couple of people and said, here, as long as there's somebody sitting in this building, we don't care what you're doing, as long as it's not being destroyed and, you know, you've basically got free security. They have to hire security guards to watch these buildings, right. and those security guards can't. It's, it's insurance. There's certain, there's certain large-scale liabilities associated with the buildings that have to be assumed by an organization that's capable of carrying the correct insurance and liability. But even even that stuff can be signed away, you know? Definitely. It can be done. I'm not, I'm not a naysayer. It's just that that is a big deal. It, it, and it, it's what, a bureaucracy. That what's the with. plan? I mean, like, what would the plan be? No, I'm a, what I'm an advocate for is taking a school. Yeah, and well, we talked about it. Taking a school and turning it into a community center, opening up for artists to have their loft and, and art space in, and return they they give back to the community by encouraging underprivileged youth to come in and they can hold art classes or you know and, and get them active and involved in art programs. If it's a nonprofit, I'm afraid that it's invariably going to become stuffed shirt and yeah. yeah. Well nonprofits always have to merge into a position where they don't offend anyone and they become less and less effective because they become more and more hamstrung by fear of offending people. Yeah. They and so, narrow their focus instead of the art. Because there's the lawyers looking for, they see all that money out there and there's lawyers yeah. looking for that. And So a for-profit entity that has limited liability is in a better position to maneuver. Mm -hmm. And it's in a better, it has, like I know Jessica and I have an LLC and right now we don't have any assets in it or anything like that but, we, but it's there it's kind of like a bullet in the gun so to speak and so, uh, so the, use. the advantage is that if we park assets in it or if we start a business that our liability is limited well only only the assets that are in the business can be taken unless we act in a fraudulent manner like if we declare wrong information knowingly then we can be held personally accountable but in the state of Missouri state of Missouri is the best limited liability company laws in the nation. Mm. Easiest 
to form a limited liability entity, which is nice because then your liability is limited. You, you're, you know, like if we took on, like just kind of went out and got a million dollar lease for a building with an idea that we had and we put it in the LLC, if the bank is willing to accept it, a lot of times that's where you run into tricks. Some, like they accept the idea, they like it. It fails. Well, if just kind of personally liable for it, we would owe a million dollars if it failed. But our, as an LLC, only the assets of the LLC are available to be taken. And so, so we can do businesses or we can take risks that aren't personal risks. They're truly the LLC's risk. Yes, exactly. And so it exists to facilitate people taking risks for the very reason that they want people to start businesses. And this all should be out there. Like, uh, there, there was a uh, French school. You know, they're doing regular school, but they're doing it. They're teaching the kids French. Yeah. And they rented part of a church, and the church was trying to you know balance the budget and have help. And they're moving out of the church now. It's a, okay. Go ahead and finish this year. And this big place has several spare buildings. You're so always. And they're now going to. I don't, I, don't mean to be. I don't open up the second camera. Oh, no, that's good. And they're going to, <laughs> this is in Kansas City. They're going to move the French school this summer because and they've got a deal that they set up and have their uh, school up to eighth grade or something like that. And the place is saying, hey, we like your school. We've seen what you're doing. We'll charge you $1 per year for rent. Did you find a good laugh? Are you comfortable there, Tina? Her feet were cold. Yeah. So yes, it's my a good feet thing. are cold. Well, then don't well, stop yeah, talking, um, and he'll get a log. Oh, <laughs> oh, he gets invigorated in that, and so do I. The fun, a wonderful toy. But you see, you you could you could become a hood. A hood. Yeah, you put your hood on, you'd be a little warmer. No, I put my. Uh... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He gets wood the old fashioned way. He cuts it. Yeah. With a saw. Electric. Yeah. I'm cutting my head off. Did it interfere with the signal or? No. Oh, okay. No, we just heard it a second or two later. Yeah. I like what you did to seal up the uh, garage door. Did you put some form of insulation between um, the two? Yeah, I put some blow-in insulation. Perfect. Very good. I knew that'd be a good help for the home. Can we get a picture of Jeff now? Yes. Instead of my muffler. Yes, hurry up. He's going to be finished eating soon. That's such a small camera, I can't see. Well, you see, you move the screen instead of the camera. He's feeding the log. No, I moved the camera no, the on, the, on, the screen. on the computer. Oh, There's well, two I, cameras. See, I see. see. We got the camera right camera. there. <laughs> oh, man. The interface of inner space see, and outer space. I knew Jeff would stand here. Oh, yeah. I'll stand here by the stove. It's not much of a delay. No, it's pretty close. It's almost live. It is. Muffin top. <laughs> well, it would be We're back to and three. if we had people talking to us, it'd be even more entertaining. See, you can have a little talk show, and you can uh, have the the uh, Kansas City Artists of War going on. on I know. The well, <laughs> the thing that that I remember from print is that the story that is controversial is the one that people tune into. Yeah. I mean, if you can't identify where there's a point of conflict, then you're not identifying a story that's going to generate a lot of attention. Yeah. So, the Archie Scott Gober Gober story on Gober. Gober, Gober, okay, it had no comments. Jessica made a comment, it ended up blowing up. Maybe one of the most commented stories I've ever had. Mm -hmm. The point of contention was that you know Jessica's interpretation of what fine art is supposed to be. She doesn't think his work constitutes fine art. Mm -hmm. That's open for debate. I mean, I think that that's something that should be hammered out. I think yeah. people say it's outrageous on its face, that argument, right? Mm -hmm. But then, 
why is it outrageous on its face? There's not really a, there's no clarification there. There's no real attempt to move us in a direction where we could comprehend how those people were forming their opinion. Now Jessica's wasn't evidenced by fact, the original statement that she made, but I think it's exciting to participate in a dialogue like that. It doesn't have to degenerate into ad hominem. I mean, that's the... But yeah, Anonymity did. permits that. Yeah, anonymity does permit I'm that. I'm fine with that, I think it's, and I think it's okay, because I think it evidences that the people who are anonymously citing... Have no argument. Yeah, they have no argument, and that doesn't make the, doesn't make the position... It doesn't necessarily make their, the... Um, uh, them wrong and Jessica right, or Jessica wrong and them right. It's just that it shows that you're dealing. You know, just like when I was talking to you guys last night about a thing I call office karate, um, the politics of the office, which is basically what we're talking about. Uh, we choose our pick our battles in such a way, you know, and um, and one of the things is to be nice and let the the other side do the attacking if there is another side and when I said the word enemy I didn't mean necessarily enemy as in there are people out there that are enemies I mean as in an enemy can be an idea or an attitude and I think that's what we are looking at is there's this idea or attitude that we are fighting against and uh, you know and the way way to way to substitute that in people's minds is to give them a good alternative that they can seek their teeth into and right I feel like, and to you some extent, we've just and I have attempted to do that. Appeal. Yeah, but you, you can't do that so much by um, by doing what is viewed as an ad hominem attack. You know, like a Pearl Harbor type attack that just pisses people off. Well, I don't know that. I mean, Jessica and I didn't. That wasn't a tactical no, I know. maneuver. I, know. I mean, it was Jessica commented. I didn't even know about it until she pointed it out. Yeah, and there's the the seasonal affectation disorder aspect of it too. Sometimes well, we we've been trapped indoors. It's cold outside. Yeah, sometimes people tend to not formulate their ideas as well, and it comes out as a personal attack, or they get their personal feelings. Uh, mixed up in it too much. I've done that so many times and felt sorry that I did it in the end. You know, I'm like, oh, why did I start this little flame war? You know, and I just got people all riled up, and you know, my ideas disappeared in the in the milieu of ad hominem. But your attacks. name was remembered, maybe. Yeah, I mean, the name was remembered as, oh, that's that pain in the ass. Here he goes again. You know. Right. But I mean, you know, or, I don't. I don't mind losing friends that weren't friends to begin. I mean, you know, yeah, I, I, right. there's an ex, there's an extent. There's no argument behind that. I don't that. suffer fools. Yeah, there's no yes. argument behind that. But what you, if you're trying to present an idea in a debate, and then there is a format that yes, you don't want to um, defeat yourself. No, but when when the when the when review when review is officially like giving the thumbs up. Oh, yeah. Two statements that are completely absurd in well, the context of a sequence of statements. The way I took it was that they actually loved it because, you know, like a lot of publications out there are really trying hard, all of a sudden they got noticed. Right. You know, for all the wrong reasons. Just like you said, yeah. you sparked a controversy and there was a discussion. And I think some people felt attacked, but I think some other people kind of felt like, hey, that was kind of cool. Let's yeah, well, well, it was exciting, you know. Uh huh. It gave us a reason to care for a position that we take automatically. I mean, it, people automatically take the positions without thinking about them. When they're forced to think about them, they become enervated and yeah. angry in in a lot of situations because they normally don't have to justify their belief structure. They just get to get away with having. And it so I'm thinking we we are formulating some pretty strong positions, you know. The uh, Cutting of the velvet rope and all are welcome and be yourself and, well, what and you know strive to spirit right you know strive to do uh, the best work you can don't don't you know like there's but a lot it's, of people out there trying to put out crap and, and trying to sell it for a lot of money thinking that you know well I mean it, what people are willing to pay for isn't yeah. something that I can necessarily state that well, I Well, I think you, you have a deeper understanding than I do. There's a lot of starving artists who are beginning to realize there is a big pool of money they could take advantage of. You know, but it's not necessarily money selling art, it's money selling tax loopholes or tax, you know, 
Right. Well, I mean, there, there are, like, 